hi guys and welcome back to my channel today as you can see we are talking about what the heck happened to my hair someone in the comments currently asked me did i get a keratin treatment what what happened to my hair and i said i was going to tell you guys how did i go from that to this oh my gosh guys happened around november of last year i was deciding i'm said you know i'm gonna do a video to see what happens to my hair because i usually before i started doing youtube i when i flat ironed my hair i never used a heat protectant but i also never put it at a high super high heat or anything of that nature but being on youtube and trying out new products learning about hair and makeup and all that stuff you say, you know, I need to, I need to probably use a heat protectant, you know, and understanding what it does and all that stuff and having a respect for your curls, <laughs> which I was just like, oh, you know, for me, hair is just hair. I will cut my hair off if I would love to cut my hair off, <laughs> but just to cut it off. I feel like for me, my journey with hair has always been kind of, okay, if something happens, then I'll cut it off. I'll, it doesn't matter. It's hair it'll grow back which has been the case for me and i understand that's not the case for everyone just telling you my case this is all from my perspective just so we're clear and my relationship with my hair <laughs> um so going back november i said oh it'd be great let me see if i could do a video about if you flat iron your hair at 450 degrees, you can kind of see where I'm going without a heat protectant. Cause I didn't use really didn't, I started using a heat protectant before then a few months before then I found my Orbe, which is amazing. Um, but if I don't use a heat protectant, what happens to your hair? What actually happens? So I normally flat iron my hair once a month, just, for a different look, you know? And I did that. I flat ironed my hair at 450 degrees without a heat protectant. And I wore it for a couple days like I normally do, max three days. And it really didn't make my hair necessarily straighter than it normally would. And I was like, oh, that's interesting. And then I got in the shower. And as you curly girls know, when you get in the shower, you know, after a little bit, your hair starts to curl back up. My hair stayed bone straight. When I say it stayed bone straight, I, part of me wish I took a picture, but I didn't take a picture. I was devastated. I washed it. I conditioned it and my hair was straight. I get out of the shower and I'm just like, I feel the tears welling up in my eyes and I just I was like, okay, maybe this is temporary. I'm freaking out. I go see my husband. I'm like, look at my hair. He goes, yeah, you know, you flat ironed it. I was like, no, no, it's wet. And he's like, oh. Like he got it immediately. He was like, well, it's still pretty. <laughs> no, you don't understand. And I think mainly I freaked out because I have a YouTube channel and I do curly hair products on here and my curls are gone. <laughs> I think if I didn't have a YouTube channel, I think I wouldn't have been as devastated because I'm thinking about, oh my gosh, my hair is just straight. What am I gonna do is with new curly hair products coming out? And and that's that was thinking back about it. It's kind of funny now. But yes, my hair went completely straight. What did I immediately do? I waited a couple days to see if, you know, 
oh no, it, my curls are just gonna come back. Like this is this is not happening. My curls did not come back in a couple of days. They didn't come back in a couple of days. What I immediately did was after those couple of days and I saw that my hair was just straight. You, When I say straight, when you, any of you guys who know about relaxing your hair, that was how straight my hair was. When you wet it after you relax it, that was how straight it was. I immediately put an Olaplex treatment in. Immediately, overnight, immediately. After a couple of Olaplex treatments, when I say a couple, I was, I'm saying three. That's more like a few. <laughs> I got some curl back. It gave me some curl back. But as I'm showing you pictures throughout, you guys have seen my videos and seen my hair go from when I did my Olaplex video or even when I got my Diva cut, all that stuff. That's my natural texture hair. I'm a 3C. But my hair turned into a 3A, 3B type of... Yeah, I think that's about 3A or something like that. Curl. And not that I don't like the looser curl. The looser curl is, is lovely. But I really, I really do love my 3C hair. I love what I can do with it and the and how curly it is. Um, I think it's funny how we all want, you know, something normally we don't have. So straight hair people are like, oh, I wish my hair could hold a curl and that it was curly and it was voluminous and big and great, you know, and then those who have curly hair say, oh, I wish I had straight hair and I didn't have to deal with this puff and et cetera. But the truth of the matter is, is that I, lo I loved my curly, puffy, you know, hair. And it is now growing back. I showed you in my last video with does Olaplex, will Olaplex restore your natural curl? Um, but it's grown back about this much. And yeah, so my ponytail is like this. Now, when it was, I'm, I'm putting pictures up as I'm doing this. When it was like this, and yeah, when I said my last last Olaplex video that all you can do is cry, yeah, I, I cried. I was talking about me. So I did not get a treatment. I, I lost my curls for the love of YouTube. <laughs> and the funny thing is that I didn't even film that video of what happens to your hair when you... Um, Put it at 400, flat iron your hair at 450 degrees without a heat protected. I just couldn't even do the video. I could not do the video. I was so, devastated is a really harsh word, but those were my emotions at the time. There's a lot of things you can be devastated about that are huge things that's happening in the world. But we're talking about hair here. So I'm completely being over emotional. It's hair. Uh, but I don't think I would have been as emotional if I didn't have my YouTube channel, if I didn't have you guys to share different products with and oh, a new curly hair product is coming out, et cetera. So that is what happens to my, that is what happened to my curls. If you guys have any questions, I'll be happy to answer them. Um, but yeah, my journey back to my 3C hair is happening and it's interesting. I could just cut it off. I could just cut it off. I don't think my husband would let me do that. <laughs> He'd be like, no, don't cut it off. Um, but yeah, so there's story time. And I hope you guys have an amazing day. Yes, I released two videos today because I did want to show you my pillows. <laughs> I hope you have a restful Sunday. Have an amazing week ahead and I will see you guys next time. Bye. Yeah. What a mess.